Here's a little neat trick. If you put Covenant Jewels inside your Cluster Jewels, the negative radius modifiers on them does not happen. So in the Quickening Covenant, you get minions, increase attack and cast speed and the suppressed spell damage. However, the notable passive skills and radius are transformed does never happen. Same thing with the Fortress Covenant. The notable passes to make them take more damage does not happen because it's in a cluster jewel. And instead, you reap all the bonuses that are beneficial and not the negative detrimental modifiers. Another neat trick I can show you, if you hover over the jewel, you can see there's two different windows, the left one being the actual jewel and the right one talking about the actual socket. To make sure that a jewel does what it's supposed to do for you, you can just hover on the side of the jewel like this. And it will just tell you what this socket is doing. In this case, it will tell me that this socket is now providing me with summon skeletons can summon up to 15 mages, but also have 7% elemental resistances. So that's a neat little trick to verify what these jewels are doing. You see the red text not showing the jewel radius not function. Same thing if I do it right here. 